It is Martin Luther King Day. Stephen is off as well. And we are also completely snowed in. It has been snowing all night. It's supposed to snow all day. Let me see if I can give you a glimpse of what it's like outside. So, I don't think anything... I don't know if I can give it justice, but these are our steps. <laughs> So, there's a lot of snow out there right now. And I love it. And it's still coming down and it is supposed to snow all day. I got up at my usual time, so I've been up since about four. And I've already worked out and cleaned up. I'm in my pajamas. We are going to have a loungy day because clearly we're not going anywhere. But. I am just getting some things ready for breakfast, but I wanna show you something I started this morning, and the house smells so good. I have seen this a couple places, and it is a Williams Sonoma simmer pot. It's supposed to make your house smell like Williams Sonoma, and I do agree that it does. So I was able to dig through the snow this morning and clip some fresh rosemary. My rosemary that I planted close to the house has actually stayed nice all winter. And then this is two lemons um, cut up, black peppercorns, and then some vanilla. It smells so good. I've added a little bit more water to it. I'm just going to let this last one finish up and then call it a day with it. I thought because it is such a snowy day that I would make Stephen breakfast this morning. And we are going to have the Williams-Sonoma gingerbread pancakes and then I also bought us some really good maple syrup. That's what's going on right now and I'm watching Kim Tai who has become my favorite YouTuber. I discovered her about a week and a half ago. I know I've shared her on Instagram but she is so kind, so lovely. Her content is great. If you like a really long vlog, which I do, hers are like 30 to 50 minutes every time. It's kind of remarkable. But her and her husband, Carlos, and their four dogs, oh, they fill me with joy. I highly recommend her. I'll leave her channel linked down below. And I actually had the opportunity to chat with her last night and once again just so so lovely and she was like if you need any help with editing reach out i'm here to help like just so kind and yeah highly recommend her you will love her today i haven't decided all that we'll get into there's a couple little house updates that i want to show with you some things that came from the new studio mcgee launch this being one this sun will come out um, the sun will come up sign. That's not staying there. It might. It just needs to be restyled. But I have some house updates. We're going to do some cleaning. Yeah, but right now, just relax. Friends, it's around 7.45. Steven usually gets up around 8. So I'm going to start making the pancakes for him. 
They smell so good. Let me tell you, I have switched over to a Danish dough whisk. I get mine on Amazon. I use them for everything. They are my favorite whisk to work with when I make my pizza dough, bread, any batter or mix. I only use these. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. I will link the ones that I buy down below. They're super reasonable, but love them. How many times can I say I love them? I really do. Uh, yeah, I just whipped up the batter. It's two cups of batter, four tablespoons of melted butter, one egg, a cup and a tablespoon of milk. And I was just finishing up our milk. We have to then rinse this glass bottle out to take it back to the dairy. But I'm gonna get the pancakes going. Simmer pot is still simmering and snow is still falling. How's it going? He didn't know where to go. Oh, there goes the perfect pristine snow. Oh, Hi, old man. Hi. Oh my goodness. And there is no sign of it lighting up for a while. Isn't there? Not until like 8, 9 p.m. tonight. Well, at least the plows are there. there. I have to get the snow blower out. See, this is the first time I'll snow blow. It's right there. Oh, for the site. Yeah. Did he just slide? Probably. What's that noise? It's the plow. It's in the follow stack. Oh. I think it's stuck. Okay. If the plow is stuck, <laughs> that's a sign. I'm in trouble. <gasps> Hi, old man. Hi. So, Stephen has breakfast. Oh, yum. They're sure. Williams Sonoma gingerbread pancakes. Oh, wow. Bubby's going to have his breakfast, which is... What is it today? Oh, it's turkey. Oh, it's turkey. That one's not so it's, smelly. It's not so smelly. The, the, the chicken one is sort of smelly. It's stinky. We have been using Farmer's Dog for... Oh, a good like, while now. Six like, months? No, like eight or nine months, I think. Eight or nine months? Yeah. We have seen such a difference in him. Uh, as far as energy, wanting to eat all his yeah, he food. Eat all he used food. to not eat all his food. And especially as he gets older, we want to make sure that we're giving him like the healthiest option that he's eating every day. They are like human grade food. Like there is kale and sweet potato and cauliflower. And we do beef, turkey, and chicken for Bubby. He has one packet a day. I won't lie, it's expensive. It's about $200 a month. About, it's 160 shipment, but it's worth it. I mean, to, but, keep, to keep him in good spirits. And... So it's expensive, but we know that he's getting really healthy, healthy food. And now he's getting his medicine. <laughs> Steven is putting his medicine into. His arthritis medicine. His arthritis meds. He's an old man, but he's a good doggy. Funny thing about him though, is he will not eat if we keep his collar on because he does not like if his collar clangs against the bowl, he will not eat. Steven's parents called us um, over Christmas and we're like, he's not eating. We're like, did you take off his collar? And as soon as they took off his collar, he ate all his food, but he will eat all of that in one standing, I guess, not sitting, but he used to never do that and his food would sit all day. So like, we love the fact that he will eat all of his meals and he really enjoys the food. Today, we are going to have a total domestic, homey, lifestyle, cleaning kind of day. Lots of little tips and tricks along the way. We are going to attack the sink right now in the kitchen and I have a couple things that I love that I'm going to share with you. But last night I made chicken noodle soup and have implemented two tricks actually that make your chicken noodle soup from like a 
7 out of 10 to a 12 out of 10. It adds a really great depth of flavor and I wanna share those two tips with you right now. I want to share two really quick tips to make your chicken noodle soup so much better. So in here I have my carrot, celery, onion, and garlic going with some thyme and oregano. I make a little well in the center and add mm, one to two tablespoons of a really good white vinegar and just kind of let that evaporate. I'm gonna turn my heat up just a hair. And that's the first thing I do. So I'm going to let this vinegar kind of cook away and evaporate into my vegetables. Since I last saw you, all that vinegar has evaporated and I invited my shredded chicken to the party. I'm gonna make a little well in the center. So now what I'm going to do is add the juice of four lemons, salt, pepper, honey, no measurements, do it to taste. I'm gonna put that right in the center. Turn up my heat just a hair and let that reduce before adding my chicken stock. These two tricks will add so much more depth and a lot more brightness and freshness to your chicken noodle soup. Trust me on it. All right, so we are going to attack the kitchen sink and I need to share two things that I love. Our sink is clean, it always is clean, but it is looking a little dingy. One of my favorite things to use is the pink stuff. They say you can find it at the dollar store. I've never come across it there. Not that I go there often enough, but I have never found it. I order mine on Amazon, it's a few bucks. But the game changer is this amazing tool. I use it for sinks, counters, literally everything. So it comes with multiple brushes. This is a corner brush. These are little scrub mats that attach to this one so you can choose which one you need. If I have a pan that's really tough, I will use one of those sometimes. But it has two settings and it's rechargeable. When it's on blue, that's the high setting, and then you turn it off and recharge it. I always give it a wipe down so it's really clean, but we are going to give our sink a deep clean using just some hot water and our pink stuff and our scrub brush. Now I am going to take off my ring. And what I typically will do is I just get it in my hand and I just try to get one really thin layer on the sink in all the spots first. Let's pull up these sleeves. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Once I, look how shiny it is. I always give it one rinse and then you'll be able to see really clearly, like right here, there's a little bit of a brown spot. Luckily I still have some on my brush and I need to get this corner a little bit better. don't know if you can see the difference, but now that little brown spot that was still there is gone. What I particularly love about this, especially if you have an undermount sink, is really being able to get into like that crease underneath. All right, I'm gonna do the other side and then we're done. Look at that gleaming, gleaming sink. Makes me so happy. I do believe either my grandmother said it or my mom said it when I was young that they would judge someone's cleanliness by how their sink looked. So that has always been in my brain as I've like had my own homes of like, oh my goodness, my sink better be clean because it is a testament to the rest of the house. 
but I love a clean sink. I use those in my bathroom sinks, in my laundry sink. I will leave them linked below, those two products. I love it. That scrub brush just makes it so nice. Just so you know, if you press too hard, which I actually like, the head will stop, like it will actually turn off. And that's so you don't break the rotating motor, which I really love that it won't like keep grinding so that it will last a long time. When I'm done with this, I'm going to take it apart and just rinse it off, wipe it down, and it'll be good to go. It is still coming down. It's like 10 a.m. now. As a reference, like you can see how high it is on our shrubs. Our plow guy is here for the second time today. He was here, mm, I woke up at four. He would have come around probably like 4.30 and he did it once, but he is already doing it again. But it is a lot of snow and there are no signs of it stopping. There's no travel, so that means that we'll have to keep our walk local if we can ever get out of the house. Oh no, Bubby, that means you're gonna have to Cancel your concert tonight. Oh no, the show must go on. Well, he went for a two mile walk yesterday and that is two days. His old man, old oh, man. He's an old man, oh, oh yes, oh yes. That still hasn't synced to the correct hour. I don't know how to sync it. Then you have to just adjust it? I don't know how to... Oh, like sink the bird? Yeah, because the bird... So it should have gone ten times. Yes. Yeah. And somewhere along the line it got unsynced and... I don't know how to... At noon it should like tweet, except it tweets at all... Oh, there's the plow guy. <laughs> it tweets at all the wrong times? Yeah. There goes our plow guy. He's been amazing. It's just nice. I like that he... Wait, is he doing... He does, does he do the, the across the... How, who does he, he do? I think he does almost everyone on the cul-de-sac. Well, he... Look how deep the snow is where that plow had just went a little bit ago. This is wild. We might not have work tomorrow. Well, I, with work from home, every day is work. Oh, he almost hit their mailbox. That wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> well, they just got it put back up. We don't want it to be hit again. People are always losing their mailboxes. Remember? I didn't know he was doing everyone in the cul-de-sac. I don't think he does everyone, but he does most of the people in the cul-de-sac. Oh my. Because that's how he, he makes the, um, that's how he makes money because everyone's close together. So he doesn't have to travel as much. Hmm. Well, he's doing a fine job. And I hope he has safe travels today. I am getting the chili in the slow cooker for dinner tonight. I shouldn't even share this recipe. It is so basic. What I did is I took two of the large cans of San Marzano tomatoes. They're the only tomatoes I use out of a can. And I ran them through the food processor. So there are two cans of that in there. I'm going to add one can of Rotel. I usually like to add uh, like half a can of refried beans just for texture. It makes such a huge difference, but I don't have any with me. I'm gonna add another thing of green chilies and then I use really lean taco meat. We very rarely ever use ground beef. We actually aren't huge beef eaters in general. So this is 99% green, lean, brown turkey. Oh, sorry, you guys. Friends, you fogged up. It's like you came in from the cold with your glasses on. Let's give you a second to catch up. And then all I'm going to season this with is some cumin, some Trader Joe's chili blend, which I love. Give it a stir. I'm actually going to add... I usually use frozen corn, but I didn't have any. So a can of corn and a can of red kidney beans. And I think that's it. I might chop up one shallot because I have some shallots that I have to get through. Oh, sorry, Bubby. That scared you, oh man, I give you a heart attack. I think I have, oh, while we're in here, 
This croc is from Hearth and Hand Magnolia line. I used to have a basket there, but it was 20 bucks and it has my Studio McGee rolling pins in it. Yeah, let's use up this shallot. These baskets in my pantry are like a game changer. I always use them for my tomatoes and my onions. I just love this pantry. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna chop up this shallot and add it in there, give everything a stir, call it a day, dinner is done. It is only a little after 10. I have made breakfast, I have worked out, I've done my devotions, I made um, dinner already, I cleaned the sink, I mean, it's been productive. Steven is <laughs> no snow blowing a path for Bubby. You know, the mail will still go that this week they have really clear paths to walk and I'm gonna go sweep off the front porch knowing that we're probably going to do this again in a little bit. So I'm gonna go clear off the front porch. He's gonna finish snow blowing. I mean, you're going to look cute, but we've had a productive, productive day. Yes, we has a big boy who's an old man. Where's daddy at? Where's daddy? Oh, go get him. Go get him. <laughs> he got a little limp in his step. For lunch today, I actually have some vegetables and rotisserie chicken that I need to finish up. So I have enough to make a couple of these for me. Steven is going to have some leftovers, but I'm going to show you how I make spring rolls. So this is the brand that I buy. I get them on Amazon. And then I also made like a quick peanut sauce. This is just peanut butter, like one spoonful, honey, soy sauce, sesame oil, a little hot water, chili flake, done. And then I have some shredded cabbage and carrots, some picked roasted chicken, cucumber, romaine lettuce, and some green onion, and a pan of lukewarm water. So what I'm going to do is just submerge my rice paper on both sides, let it in there for just a second, and then lay it out on my cutting board. I'm gonna shoot to do five. Okay. They need to sit for a second or two. They get more pliable as they sit. Okay. This is ready to go. You'll see that like it's getting sticky. And then I'm just going to take a leaf of romaine Kind of break it down, try to get that harder stem out of it just so it lays a little nicer. It also creates a great bed for whatever you're adding in. So I'm going to add my slaw mix, a little bit of chicken, any protein will work, shrimp, some cucumber in here. And then a little green onion on top. And then all I'm going to do is take this bottom half and fold it over tightly. And then fold in my sides. The first one always comes out the worst and that's okay. And then just finish rolling it. And that's the first one. Like I said, the first one always is the worst. And they just get better from there on out. What's great about this is you can take whatever veggies you still have. Gentle, gentle. Thank you. Put those last cucumbers on there. Grab some green onion. And there we go, such a fresh, light, healthy lunch. What are you doing? I'm watching my birds. 
<laughs> You're like the woman on Mary Poppins. Tell us about your birds. Oh, there's a blue jay. So today it's blue jays and, or a blue jay and a lot of cardinals. And there's a chickadee at the bottom, I can see. Um, but you can see that all the cardinals are up in the tree waiting to come down. Um, oh, you can see them. Yeah, because they're so bright. But usually we have, oh, here they come. They like come in shifts. So they, um, the, the tit mice and the nut hatches, <laughs> I don't see them today, but they were around when the snow wasn't as bad. But uh, the woodpecker comes in sometimes and I saw him or her in the trees before but they haven't made an appearance, so I'm not an ornithologist, but I like to know my birds, so. Look at you. I know, I try to help all, wild, all wildlife, big and small. Why don't you try helping me? Well, you're not wild. And it looks like you have something in your beard from a snack I just gave you. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay here. Don't break a hip. Oh, he's been barking all day. Well, he can't. He's missed his walk, his hike. So. Do you have something in your beard? He has a, he has a part of a hook. Look in here. His beard. Hey, look here. He has several cookies in his beard. A man and his birds. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I saw a robin in the park yesterday, which I was surprised about. But that was just a singular, must have flown off course or something. <laughs> Let's go upstairs and read. Um, don't you mean take a nap? No, we're going to read. We're doing some casual reading. And then... I, sometimes I fall asleep. Is your book written on the back of your eyelids? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Do you go upstairs? Let's go upstairs to take a nap. Come on, let's go take a nap. He's been barking all day, so maybe he should come upstairs. Upstairs, let's go take a nap. Let's go. You got this. Good boy. Let's go. Come on. I am just going through my planner for the day. It was a lovely amazing snow day that ended up being really really productive i feel like i got a lot done while still prioritizing a lot of rest and recharging so what i love about a digital planner is this is today so as i prepare for tomorrow which i'm curious if i will have work tomorrow if things will be clear enough. I just circled that whole page. I'm gonna copy. Now watch that. Oop. I didn't wanna do that. Okay, so this is tomorrow. I'm gonna say paste. Look at this. All, all of that is right back there for me. I am gonna take this, oop. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to take this out. I am going to zoom in. I'm going to delete those. Boom. I can, I can erase all that. That will all stay the same. I want to, actually let's insert it for my, go to my sticker book. Let's, let's do kind of like that sagey color. Let's copy that. Let's go to my planner and let's put that in this section. Get a little bit bigger. This is what is so great about digital planning. It is so, I love that. All right, 
So here's where we're at for tomorrow. I will fill in the rest, but that is all set up and ready to go. And it's amazing. We started this day pretty early and it is still snowing, but we are going to have a very low key evening, staying safe, staying warm. I hope any of you impacted by this storm are staying safe and warm as well. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you learned something new. If you want to maybe comment on something you learned or something you're going to try based off of today's video, let me know. I am really thinking through a lot of content and some things that are coming back in 2022. Some what's in my bag, some packing videos, um, some plan with me's are coming. I'm going to do a full clean with me at some point this year. Well, multiple times this year. And I'm also going to bring back monthly favorites at the end of the month and some more skincare pieces. Some things that I really love that I've just like kind of lost a little bit. So I'm excited for it. And I have calendared a lot of them out, have planned a lot of them, have started ordering stuff for some of them, but I am pumped and excited. I'm going to end this video like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be soon.